Today we're doing three-way switching and I'm going to show you how to wire up three light switches. One reason you might want three light switches is if you have one when you enter into a bedroom and then have one above either side of the bed. That's how I have my bedroom set up at the moment so that either myself or the missus can flick the switch on and flick the lights on the middle of the night if you have to. The best thing is you can just jump in bed without worrying about turning the light off. Rightio, so to make three-way switching work, what you're going to need is an intermediate mech. Now these mechs are sold separately, they don't come on the light switches, so they're completely different from these ones. So these intermediate mechs have got numbers 1 to 4 on the back of them. So one of the switches, you're going to have to pop the mech off the back and throw this one in. An easy way to pop the mech off the back is to get a small screwdriver and see these wee tabs in it? These wee white tabs here. Push the screwdriver in, pop them in and then apply a wee bit of pressure just on that corner. So it's held in now. Same again on the back one. Hold pressure on that whole side and then do the same with these two clips here. Mech will pop out. Throw your intermediate mech in the switch. Now, the intermediate mech is going to have to be the middle switch in a three-way switch combo. So the wiring for these. What you want is a light fitting and what you're going to have is a cable from the switchboard. For this instance, I've wired a bit of TPS into a plug-in just to demonstrate it. So you have the phase, which will go back to the bottom of the circuit breaker in the switchboard. You'll have the neutral, which will go back to the switchboard into the neutral bar. And then the earth will go back to the switchboard and get wired into the earth bar. So this feed here, you will have running to one of the light switches. Now the next cable is the one that goes to the light fitting itself. This one here, you wire off the exact same switch and wire it up to the light fitting. Now to add these two switches into the circuit, so this one here is the intermediate and then that one there is just a regular light switch. What you'll do is you wire in three core TPS from the first switch to the second switch and then wire again from the second switch to the third switch. So these cables here will sit in the flush boxes behind the switches. If you don't want to know what flush boxes are, they're the fittings that hold the switch to the wall. First of all, I'm going to wire this batten holder in. Okay, so what I've done is fit the light fitting off. Now this could be any light fitting. It's not specifically a batten holder. Now, off camera, I've stripped the ends back on these cables. So we had that yellow one going between those two switches and that one going between those two. Now what we'll do is we'll fit the first light switch off, the main one. First thing you need to know, we will need to use this number two terminal. So flick that plastic out of there. Get a screwdriver in there and just flick it out of there. Rightio. That loop terminal, we're not going to use. It works like a connector, exactly like one of these. So it's not part of the switch at all. What I'll use instead of the loop terminal is connectors. So we've got these three cable ends. So we've got the feed from the switchboard. Phase earth neutral. And this other cable here is the one that goes to the light fitting. So on both of these cables, we'll twist together the two greens and then separately twist together the two blacks, so the two earths and neutrals. So first off, we'll twist the greens together. Now those two will go in a connector. Next is the two black cables. Screw those together and chuck them into a connector. So that's the easy ones out of our way. Now what we've got left are two red cables. So this is the three core cable that runs between light switch one and light switch two. First thing we'll do, we'll get the red core that runs back to the switchboard. And we're going to loop that up with the white core on the three core cable and twist those together. 
Now on the back of your light switch, those cables will go into terminal number one. So that's the white core on the three core cable and the red core going back to the switchboard. Twist them up, then do the old pull test. Make sure they're in there nice and firm. Next one will be the red of the three core cable. We will twist this one up by itself. And that red core there will go into the C, which is the middle terminal on the switch. Screw them up. Alright, now we've got two cores left. We've got the red core that goes back to the light fitting here. And we've got the blue core on the three core cable that goes to the second switch. Twist those both together. And now they go in terminal number two. Give them the old pull test. Now that's the first switch fit off. Now what we'll do is the second switch. This one here is a wee bit different from the other ones. It's got one, two, three, four. It's an intermediate mech. Now you can't do three-way switching without this type of mech. So we'll loosen off the terminals. Right, so off camera, I've stripped these cores back. Now the first thing I want to do is get the two red cores. And those two I'm going to twist together and put into a connector. Throw a connector on them, screw them up. Right, now all of these cores I'm going to twist up separately so none of them are getting twisted together. One will go into each of these terminals here. Off one of these cables here, get two cores. White will go into L1 or number one. Screw it up. Do the old pull test. Now the next one on that same cable the blue is going to go into number 3, or L3. Now this last cable here, the white is going to go into L2, and the blue into L4. Rightio, so that's the intermediate switch done. Now move on to the last one. Right, last one here. We're going to go white into 1, red into C, and blue into 2. So, just like that. White in 1, red in C, blue in 2. Rightio, now that's the three-way switching done. We'll go plug her in and test it. Alrighty, so I've plugged her in, flicked her on at the wall. Now we'll test that these switches are going to turn the light on and off independently. First switch. On, off. Second switch, on, off. Third one, on, off. Now we'll see if they work together. Turn it on with this one, off with this one, on with this one. Now we'll turn it off with this one, and back on with this one. So they all work perfectly fine as they should. And that, guys, is how you wire three-way switching. Cheers.